hello again it's me in my hat with my bad hair today and makeup day how are you guys doing I'm so excited to be bringing you this review I kind of wish I could have brought it to you sooner but I like to give products the benefit of the doubt and use them multiple times before giving my honest opinion on them and that is what we are about to do with the naked on the run palette now the, the, the sad thing about this is Something in this palette went on the run, and it was the, what do you call it, even? It's gone. I cannot find it. I'm not usually one that loses things. That's not true. I lose things all the time. What is this called that I lost? It was the, it was the eyeliner. It's missing, and that's one of my favorite things in this palette. Okay, so let's just get started with this thing. First of all, Urban Decay. This was a excellent idea, super smart. It was innovative in a way that I would say, okay, so the Lorac Pro to Go is amazing. The quality is amazing. It doesn't have mascara though. It doesn't have lip gloss and it doesn't have an eyeliner. It has brushes in it though. That's one thing and it's got going for it. So, and it's $38. It's totally worth it. So if you're looking for something, Lorac Pro to Go. Naked on the Run. I like the packaging. People are like, kind of, if you bought it, they're like, oh, it's so bulky. But listen, you're getting like your whole face inside of here. So why are you complaining about it being bulky? You can literally just take this when you're traveling and get a look if you like it. Getting on, moving on with what I need to say about this. So I don't mind the packaging. Um, I think it's kind of nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's kind of like a rose gold, which I totally am all about. Okay, so when you open it up, you get, I can't really show you because it's like the biggest mirror of life, which is really good. I don't know why I keep saying that. What does that even mean? Biggest mirror of life. I need to stop doing that. It's too trendy. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, I have to cover this up or I'm going to blind you. So we have perversion. We have the missing um, eyeliner. We have naked. We have five. It's actually six eyeshadows. People were getting confused. This is actually an eyeshadow. It's not a highlighter. Then we have the flush blush and bronzer. Okay, so let's get into it. It won't take me very long, guys. Perversion Mascara, when it came out, what did they come out with? They came out with a primer. This doesn't work without its primer. Subversion. It. I have it on today. It's not wow. It's not anything. You Okay, so you put on one layer of it. There it is. You put on the second layer. It's the same exact. It's just like a it doesn't even build upon itself, it, which is nice. It doesn't get clumpy, but it doesn't go any further than the first layer. I don't know. It's not... I don't like that mascara. And I've already said that on my channel. I have a full review of Naked Perversion. Naked Perversion. That is an awful name. Of Perversion. I can link it below. Okay, and the Naked Gloss I have on my lips. Like, okay. I remember people were like, oh my gosh, these glosses are awesome. It's whatever. I just put this on and I had I felt like I needed to reapply. These are not great. They have a mint smell to them. No taste. Mm, they don't taste good. <laughs> um, they have a mint smell to them, which people, I know people are turned off by that. Um, so, I don't know. This is not a good gloss. And it doesn't have any pigmentation, really. It's just like, I was underwhelmed with that. Okay, so let's get into, let's do bronzer. I have, listen, I did my Friday favorites with my face like this, and that's the sad part. This bronzer, which I've been warned about this before from my friend Rachel that worked at Sephora, she's like, this is like the same as the flush. This is super, look at that. Ugh, I don't know, it's, it's orange, it's not coming off orange here. This is a cool, it's almost like a cool tone to me. I'm um, not really warm. It's just, I don't know, it's orange. Orange bronzer. Not good. Not very versatile for multiple skin tones. Um, I have it on, but it, oh, I am having bad skin. It's just like, you are walking in the mall and you see the lady that has clearly a contour, clearly a blush. It doesn't blend. I don't like it. So, no. Then there's the blush, which I'm a blushaholic, people, and pigmentation is one of the things that, okay, I need in my life, but this is not even coming across on camera. This is like hot pink, and it's um, a cool tone for sure, um, which I don't really use a lot of cool tone blushes. It definitely has like blue and purple in it. This is insane, and for some reason like the lighting is kind of maybe like, 
it's taking away from the insane pigmentation that my cheeks are. I would not go to anywhere with my face like this except for YouTube. Here I am on YouTube with my face like this. It's insane. It doesn't even, it's not as insane on camera as it is in person. I look like a clown. Like, chunk, blush. So there's those. So I don't like those. I do like the eyeliner, which I can't show you. And how dumb is that? I can't find it. Um, but I would just buy that on its own because, yes, it is good. Yes, it stays in the waterline. It's amazing. The eyeliner's great. I paid, what, $56 for an eyeliner so far? So far, that's what I paid for it. That's what I'm liking out of this palette. Okay, let's go get to the colors. This is the one that I have on my outer V right now. So it's a brown with glitter. The glitter does stay. It doesn't fall out. So that's kind of nice. Um, it's the most pigmented color in the palette. So it's not going to go very dark, obviously. it's there. You're not going to get like a deep smoky eye with this. Then you have the matte, like taupe color. I'm going to get all crazy swatchy on here. Um, this one, what I have trouble with is blending it out. It's kind of chunky in a way. Look, it, it just, I am pushing really hard to blend it. I mean, if you're going to try to do that with a brush, good luck. Let's go down my arm. What do we got here? Then we have the middle color in the palette. And this is going to be a taupey color. It has kind of a hint of taupe to it. Um, this one is underwhelming. Uh, to get pigmentation with this, like, I'm, I'm giving you nice swatches, but to use it with a brush, no way, Jose, you have to use this to bring out pigmentation in this one. And this is the one I used on my lid in my Get Ready With Me speed through. Then there's the transition color. Um, let me see here. I didn't really, like, plan this out swatch-wise on my hand. This one is the best one in the palette as far as blendability goes. Um, I don't have any complaints about that, but have I said any of them are amazing yet? No, I have not. Then there's the pink one that you're like, oh, some saving grace. It'll be pretty. Pretty chunky is what you are, lady. If you are a lady. <laughs> um, the color is pretty. I don't know. Like, these swatch amazingly. I was watching um, Graveyard Girl, and she was watching them, and she actually liked the palette. And she, she did good swatches, and it makes you, like, want it, but mm -mm, it's not that great. I have that on my, I have the pink on my inner corner. Can you even tell? No, because when you dip your brush into it, the brush destroys the eyeshadow, and it's pan. It gets all chunky all everywhere, and this is, like, the most disappointing thing I've ever experienced from Urban Decay. I mean... I took back the Naked 3 palette just because there were so many rose colors in it. That's a complete other story. So, bottom line is I like the eyeliner. I showed you the swatches. They swatch pretty nicely. I'm not... I'm telling you from the experience of using this with a brush, this is not worth it. I know some of you are getting this for Christmas. I know at least one of you. One of my subscribers, Millie, is going to get this for Christmas. And she's excited. Now, you need to try it. Maybe you'll have a different experience. I have not watched but one um, review on this. No, two. I watched um, Lip Gloss Leslie's as well. And, oh, I wanted to love it. And I tried. You guys, I tried. But it's going back. I'm a returner. If I don't like something, it goes back. As long as I can find that eyeliner. This is just a very good idea. Good job, Urban Decay. Why did you give us the poorest quality eyeshadows ever? And I just, it just goes to show that the Naked Flush palette, the brush, blush and bronzer is not for me. Heck no. Yikes. It's just crazy. It's too pigmented. It's like, it's like Urban Decay came out with a drugstore version of itself, like the lowest of low end. So this palette clearly failed it for me and I don't like doing negative reviews but sometimes I gotta I gotta just let you know I just did not I was just not impressed with this palette which is super disappointing because I really wanted to love it anyway thumbs this video up if you like nailed it or failed it and I will keep doing them because I haven't done one in forever and don't forget you can also follow me on Facebook Instagram Twitter and Tumblr I will be seeing you guys in my next video and hopefully I won't be wearing this hat